In the Hampton Roads area, groundwater withdrawal has resulted in subsidence. If you think of it as a milkshake with whipped cream on top, if you drink down the milkshake, the whipped cream is gonna sink down in much the same way that the land here in this area is going down in elevation. And when you combine that with an increase in sea level rise, it makes us much more vulnerable to major flooding events. We are trying to protect our infrastructure by investing in shoreline restoration projects. Here on Langley, we have completed over 3,000 feet of shoreline restoration. We're also planning an additional 1,150 feet in front of one of the oldest buildings on the installation. Our objective there is to both increase the resilience of the installation to major storm events and also to protect our historic structures from erosion and provide more habitat for natural resources. We obviously get an increase in biodiversity in those areas and we get flood resilience. We get protection from the energy inputs of wind and water when we have major storm events like we have over the last few years. At any given time, we have ships that anchor here on, on the pier where we provide them the supplies they need to defend our country. If the, our shoreline erodes, the infrastructure of this pier fails, and that would be a great deterrence uh, to our support of uh, the mission. Soon after the attack on Pearl Harbor, it was the Navy's decision to install submarine cargo netting across the York River system to prevent future attacks at the onset of the war. After World War II, that netting was all wrapped up uh, and brought back to the shoreline and used as an effort to stabilize the shoreline. Over time, the eroding conditions of the shoreline with the presence of the cargo netting became a little bit of concern. The rate of erosion is from 0.9 to 2.6 feet per, per year. As that rate's increasing, it's definitely in, impacting the, the real estate on this installation. We remove the cargo netting, regrade it, the slopes of the, of the shoreline, added some sand, some rock revetment, and we're going to finalize it with some wetland plantings to ensure the stabilization. The goal, stopping the erosion, helping out with the, the ecosystem around here by doing so. Also just demonstrating to the public that the Navy is very conscious and making the efforts in the right direction to be good land stewards.